to have AV1 here. Originally, we were going to meet right next to the Beaver Bridge, but you can imagine that the bridge is right next to us because it's in our heart. And I'd like to welcome the governor and lieutenant governor uh, to come on this very auspicious uh, day. As you know, uh, Chapter 90 funding uh, started in 1973 to start with uh, assisting municipalities with roads and bridges. And we are very grateful to Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll for continuing the tradition. With a city like uh, Lowell, the Gateway City, uh, we always could use um, help from our friends at the State House. And this uh, funding is very, very important. We're talking about $200 million for roads and bridges, $175 million for transportation related infrastructure, and $25 million for smaller bridges and uh, smaller projects like the Beaver, uh, the Beaver Bridge Project. And of course, uh, we're excited to receive $1.87 million um, and that figure to come to Lowell and um, on behalf of the entire city council, uh, we are joined by Councilor Vyasna Nguyen, Councilor Paul Ratayem, and I think I saw a few other council, uh, Councilor Drinkwater. Um, I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. And with the uh, work together with the city manager, Tom Golden, uh, we are so grateful again to the administration. I want to thank the state delegation, State Representative Vanna Howard, State Representative Rodney Elliott, State Representative uh, Roddy Mom, and uh, State Senator um, Ed Kennedy, and all the representatives and the state senators who are joining us today, as well as all of you for joining us today. Uh, with that um, said, I'd like to all of you please give a hand of applause and welcome uh, the governor. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mayor, for your warm welcome to the great city of Lowell. We're thrilled to be here this morning, rain or shine. It's always great to be in Lowell. And we're really happy to be here today to sign into law a $375 million investment in roads, bridges, public transit, public access, municipal electric vehicles, and so much more that will help communities across Massachusetts. The mayor acknowledged uh, important folks who are in attendance. Um, I'm grateful to, to the men and women who serve on the city council and the city councils and boards around our state. I also appreciate that we're joined by, uh, in addition to members of the state legislature and the delegation here today, we're also joined by uh, Vice Chair Representative Brian Murray. Uh, we have uh, Senator O'Connor here as well um, from the conference committee. And let me see. Senator Kennedy. Senator Kennedy will acknowledge again because <laughs> he's that good. This is Senator Kennedy. You can never say it too many times. No. <laughs> um, and no, we, we appreciate it. And, uh, you know, all of this comes about because of uh, important advocacy work by our municipal folks. Uh, funding that is then um, made possible through the legislature. And then the lieutenant governor and I have the... The, uh, the opportunity then to, to, to turn it into law and to make sure that it gets out and gets dispersed. And the people who help us do that include our Secretary of Transportation, Gina Fiandaka, Under Secretary Monica Tibbetts Nutt, our Federal Highway Administrator, uh, Jonathan Gulliver, among others. I also want to thank the Administration and Finance Team, Secretary Matt Gorkowitz. The team is back in the State House working, um, as you know, on budget matters today, so they can't be with us. Um, but I do really, really appreciate the work uh, that's gone into this. I also appreciate friends in the room, our friends from labor. Um, this is all about getting you out, uh, getting you working, helping move this great state forward. And so we thank you, uh, in particular, the mass building trades, including the laborers union and the carpenters union. So thanks so much, guys. We're looking forward to, uh, to more projects, more activity, and we appreciate the great work you do day in and day out. The legislation we're enacting today will fund projects that residents and their elected officials have said are critical for their communities. We're here in Lowell because the Beaver Street Bridge is a great example. This is a bridge that's needed a rehab for years now. It's been closed, in fact, to cars and trucks since 2019. MassDOT recently approved $1.6 million to replace the superstructure of the bridge over at Beaver Brook. And getting this bridge 
back online we know is going to make a difference for the neighborhood and for the city. The legislation we signed today is going to unlock another 1.87 million in Chapter 90 funds for Lowell. In total, the Chapter 90 portion of this legislation reimburses cities and towns $200 million for local bridge and road maintenance projects. It also authorizes $175 million for additional infrastructure programs statewide that will support access to buses, commuter rail, and other forms of transit, grants for cities and towns and regional transit authorities to invest in electric vehicles and charging infrastructure, the Complete Streets Program, which allows pedestrians, cyclists, and cars to share space safely. The replacement, the preservation and repair of smaller local bridges. Um, that program has provided 175 grants since 2016, totaling over $50 million, and we're committed to providing more support than ever. This legislation also increases funding for our rural communities with a new $25 million road repair program. It's a mileage-based program that will help our towns with longer roads and fewer resources to maintain them. That's the regional equity our administration is committed to advancing. We're committed to building on these programs and others to grow our state and local partnerships with all of our communities as we move forward. So exciting to be able to be here today and thrilled to be able to turn it over to our fantastic uh, and fabulous Lieutenant Governor, Kim Driscoll. Thanks, Governor. Those of us who have experience in local government know how exciting it is to talk about Chapter 90. Uh, this is the bread and butter of what keeps our communities safe, and so thrilled to be in Lowell, uh, certainly with the Lowell City Council, the Mayor, uh, Tom Golden, the City Manager here, and staff from the municipal departments who make these dollars go. Uh, those of us who, who are familiar with these programs know you've got to spend it first, and then it gets reimbursed, which means it touches a lot of departments, everything from the public services team and engineers, uh, folks in procurement, and finance departments who are all working when these dollars get released uh, to, put a, to put cities and towns in a position to make these investments. And these are the investments that really matter. I think about the things that kept me up at night when I was a mayor and it was safety and making sure we had the resources to make investments, particularly in our older communities. You know, it's great being uh, in local government in a community that's nearly 400 years old, except when you think about the infrastructure. <laughs> and, and these dollars are going to help us improve safety. But more than that, they also op open up opportunities for economic development and growth. We're trying to build strong pipelines in our community for housing to support the sorts of developments that we know are necessary, and infrastructure is at the heart of it all. So these resources, when you combine them with hardworking municipal officials, are going to go a long way to demonstrating the type of communities we all want to build, places that are safer, that have infrastructure, that's meeting the demands of a growing economy, that's putting our, our, our environment in a, in a process to move forward, recognizing that these dollars also lead to good jobs and economic development. And that's why we're thrilled to be here. Again, we wish we could be outside because this is a fabulous project. We know it's going to mean a lot to this particular community. And there are hundreds of projects across the Commonwealth that are now moving forward because of this investment. So we're grateful to our legislative partners who make these resources possible and really excited to be able to partner not only with Lowell but all 351 cities and towns to make sure the bread and butter of what makes our communities go, these infrastructure dollars are going to be put to good use. And with that, um, I'm going to turn it over to City Manager Tom Golden to offer his own remarks. Thank you all very much. And uh, I want to say thank you again, Governor, and of course, uh, Madam Mayor, uh, <laughs> now Lieutenant Governor. You know how important this is over the past uh, few years. The City of Lowell has really made um, a commitment, uh, $5 million, $8 million, and $11 million, which is in our fiscal year 2024. We could not do this. We could not make this commitment from this council and our mayor uh, without the support of Chapter 90 monies. The Chapter 90 monies that are coming in here and have continued to come in here um, like clockwork. It is absolutely vitally important. We hear all the time, uh, the commissioner of, uh, of um, DPW is here, and we're talking about potholes and redeveloping streets and redeveloping bridges and the Lord Overpass, which is almost done, which I have to say thank you again for all that extra uh, assistance to Mass DOT and to this administration. Thank you so much for helping us with the Central Street Bridge. Uh, the Central Street Bridge has been uh, vital to our downtown. 
And if it wasn't for MassDOT and uh, this particular administration, we ran into some a few issues at the last minute. And uh, this administration, as well as DOT, has always been there, willing, ready, willing, and able to help. So uh, on behalf of the entire city, on behalf of the city council, who has allowed us, once again, to start uh, really pushing uh, advancement uh, in horizontal construction and all of our friends in labor. I want to say thank you very much, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, because without you folks, uh, we wouldn't be able to do this. And to our legislative partners, uh, I have a soft spot, always will. Uh, thank you for making this happen. We appreciate all of you. Thank you, and have a great day. Thanks, Tom. We're, um, we'll, we're going to also take a couple of photos, um, but I guess, Carissa, any on-topic questions? Okay. Isn't this a beautiful room? It's amazing. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And uh, just another thing to command the great city of Lowell. So great to be here. Um, I want to take a picture. We're going to... Great. Great. Terrific. Compass. We've got to take a picture. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a little dangerous. Uh,